I never come on here. I never come on here trying to uh, scare anybody or do anything other than give you the most accurate information I can give you through the lens of a uh, ex-soldier, combat veteran of OIF. Uh, I'm not claiming to be anybody special or nothing. I was just a buck sergeant, got injured, and I medically retired. So, that being said, and I'm a Christian, that being said, I'm coming on here to tell you what to expect, what you can expect, um, as this situation develops, where the world is getting ready for war. Now you got Iran threatening NATO and the United States with their own missiles, among other things. Got the Russian military satellite last night falling from the sky mysteriously. And it was only two years old. Oh, I'm sorry, three years old. But anyway, strange things are happening. And what you can expect is you can expect the moment that a no-fly zone is declared over Ukraine, some attempted naval blockade happens around Crimea, or NATO or Russian troops proper, not their spec ops teams and not their uh, fourth gen warfare specialists and fifth column they already have in Ukraine that are already fighting. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about the heavy ground troops, the moment they cross that border, whether it's the Russian side doing it or the Western militaries doing it, that will escalate. And NATO making threats is about the stupidest thing that they could be doing right now. They must not realize all the Club K missiles inside our country right now. <laughs> they must not realize all the foreign fifth column saboteurs flooding through our border and have gotten in through our ports that China owned and uh, gotten in a long, long, long time ago. Hell, the Soviets had stay-behinds before the chai -coms ever put people in our country. And then you got the Iranians and whoever else. Um, that's a nightmare. It's a disaster. Um, it's probably whole spec ops teams, maybe even whole units of Trojan force horses here. In this type of a war, when it starts, it will be very, very fast. You won't have to worry about a draft of any kind. Because there will be events popping off everywhere. Nothing will be safe. There will be no safety behind the lines like in World War II and the Cold War that our generals seem to think is how the next war will be. But it's not going to be that way. Destruction will come very quick from our enemies. And then it followed up with an invasion. It won't take them long. If you watch my past videos, I explain all these aspects very clearly and concisely to you. I'll make a video following this. I will summarize it all, all the details. May Yeshua bless and keep you all, always.